Many of you have seen my video on a tooth powder and you saw how I was able to create that from scratch using mirror powder, ginger powder, clove, sea salt. And uh, the few of you that have tried it out, uh, a lot of you are rocking with it. You found, I guess we found that it works well with getting the plaque off and uh, removing any bacteria from the tongue when we put it on a toothbrush and we scrub with it. But a lot of you have said it tastes trash. And I actually agree with you. It's not, it's not the best taste. Uh, you know, I'm, I'm not, I wasn't a fan myself until someone who follows my channel mentioned fennel. Like that herb has to be one of my favorite tasting herbs ever. It just adds a, a unique, fresh taste. And I used to drink fennel tea quite often, but I never thought about adding fennel to my tooth powder. So I went to my local Eastern food co-op. I saw that they had the fennel seeds and then I saw that they also had the fennel powder. Now you can use the fennel seeds and what you can do is grind them up and turn them into a powder. But if they have the powder, there already, you know, you might as well grab that unless it's an astronomical price in comparison to the seeds. So uh, the price difference in, in the seeds and the powder from where I'm located wasn't much of a difference. I went home and I tried, I tested out the new recipe, which was, I, I typically use one tablespoon of mirror about a pinch of clove, a pinch of sea salt. I use one teaspoon of ginger, and then I also added in one tablespoon of fennel powder. Now that just, that just revamped the whole tooth powder in general. Like, I actually can say that my tooth powder now is quite enjoyable to use. And that's not, that, that used to be a reach. The last time I made it, um, well, I never said it was enjoyable, but I said it worked. You got yourself a banging tooth powder to use. And, you know, I pretty much take this anywhere I go and use it every day. And it, the fennel just adds a whole nother level to the tooth powder. It has my breath actually smelling fresh. Before, it's like the tooth powder, it just tasted bad, but it didn't leave a bad aroma to my breath, it just didn't taste the best. It just, when I rinsed it out, I, I, it just wouldn't smell like anything. Now the fennel adds a, an additional nice smell to it. And they also say the fennel is uh, quite good for your gums as far as, um, it, it just helps assist in healing your gums. I'm sure fennel has a lot of other benefits that you know I can't think of off the top of my head. I'm no expert to be honest. Um, anything that I do recommend, uh, you know, I, I also recommend along with what I recommend to you is that you do your own research. No matter how reliable the source has proven to be, just you got to find your own way. But I just wanted to let you all know that the you, you have to try the revamp of the tooth powder, that mixture that I just gave you. And um, shout outs to the subscriber that did mention that that's that was a fire recommendation and I'm gonna keep I'm gonna keep working on on this field of hygiene you know um you know for for the tooth powder not only that but I think the next move is to figure out a mouthwash that I could use uh, please let me know in the comments if you have tried the tooth powder from before and then um try this mixture too as well I would, I would be interested in your thoughts as to what you think about it. And, um, you know, does it add a whole uh, a world of difference for you or is it mediocre? But I think it adds a world of difference for me with the fennel. So please, uh, I'm really curious to hear your thoughts. And um, let me know down in the comment section below if you happen to try this mixture out or if you're looking forward to trying to mixture out. And yeah, that's all I have for today. Headed out to Florida, the sunny state. 
and um, you know get away from the cult with the family. So I hope you all enjoy your weekend and the extra holiday. Until next time, to Tao Nana.